Hello and welcome back. Thank you for sticking around through the break if you're still here, and if you're not, you can't hear me, so it doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm telling you that. Uh, so we are back for a little bit more tonight. We're going to do some Long Live the Queen. This is a thing that I've had quite a few people ask me to do uh, for a while now, because I did a five-part Let's Play of this where I played through most of the game and then met my untimely demise right towards the very end. Uh, so in case you don't know what this is at all, as I'm sure many of you feel that way. It's a basically a princess simulator. You uh, find out that your mother has died, and essentially you have to survive the cruel world around you until your coronation. And if you can make it far enough, you get to be the queen. But there's a lot of tricks and traps along the way, and essentially everybody's out to get you, and you've got to figure out what stats to level up at what point in your queenly career, and what decisions you want to make that will get you through all the difficulties. So... I think this is kind of a fun way to do it, because this means, although there is a pretty awful delay, at least you guys will have some input into some of my decision-making progress or process. Uh, and since the Let's Play seemed to be quite popular, I figured this is a nice way to both hang out with you guys and play it at the same time. So hopefully nobody minds too much. It is a little bit of a visual novel type of thing. It's not necessarily the type of game that I play very often, but I think it should be fun regardless. So, I think we should get started here. I was just standing up, taking a little break from sitting for a few moments here. Uh, this is going to be a brand new game, because uh, the one that I had already, well, I could probably just finish it, but I would kind of be cheating. So we're just going to start from the beginning, make a new character and all that. Are you playing because she's... <laughs> not quite, she's actually like 14, so... <laughs> Alright, so uh, I guess I will just kind of approach this as if no one here has ever seen this game. I, I'm trusting probably a few of you have, though. And also, let me know how the audio levels are, because I need to uh, make adjustments here before we get too far. Just in case this is pretty loud. It's a surprisingly good game. For somebody who doesn't play visual novels, really, I was... I was kind of drawn into this pretty quickly. Yay, story time. Uh, yeah, so let me know about the audio, and I will make any adjustments before we actually get into the reading part, because I don't want it to be difficult to hear, especially if this ends up making it up on YouTube. Audio equals good. Alright, I like hearing that. Alright, I guess I don't need to make any adjustments then. Brilliant. I love when that happens. Uh, the other question, I just need to stretch the edges just a little bit. It's not even a question, it's just something I need to do, because I hate having those little black borders if I can. Oh, shit, well, I missed the first line there. Alright, so you play as Elodie, that's the, uh, crown princess. She is very apprehensive because she just found out her mother has been killed, and she has no idea what's about to happen. So, uh, here we go. So, Jocelyn King DeWager, or DeWager, I don't know. I am terrible at pronunciations, by the way, in this, so hopefully nobody minds too much. Don't even bother trying to correct me. I'm probably not going to be able to do it anyway. Uh, Duke of Caloris. So, he says, I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends, but I've arranged the best possible tutors for every subject. You'll have to work hard this year to prepare yourself before your 15th birthday, but I know you can do it. You'll learn quickly, and you'll make a wonderful queen. It's what your mother would have wanted. This is not what Mother would have wanted. She would have wanted... She wouldn't have wanted to die and leave me. No, she wouldn't, but sometimes bad things happen. We have to pick up and carry on. All of Nova depends on us, on you. Nova is our... domain. Sigh. I'll be here to guide you until your coronation, but the decisions you make are ultimately up to you. Come, your maids are waiting. Alright, so this is where we primarily hang out. Uh, this is kind of our little... You know, a room or hub world is something like that anyway. Uh, click the gear below the chat. Oh, talking to somebody else. Right, so this is not my first time playing it, so I probably don't need to go through this. I should be able to just explain this. So basically how this all works is all of our decisions come down to what classes we want to take, and then the game is kind of doled out in bits of story and exposition mixed up with a bunch of checks to see if you've reached a certain skill proficiency level. And if you fail the checks, well, you will fail the checks constantly. Uh, there's a varying level of degrees of how severe the punishments are for that, ranging from basically nothing changed to you died and fail the game and have to start over. Uh, you can save at any point, though, so it's not really quite as strict. 
So, first things first. This is our skill tree. It looks surprisingly dangerously huge. Uh, and it kind of is, but it's for a reason, because this is basically what we're going to be dealing with for the entirety of the game. All of these bars all have individual skills that we want to get up to pass various skill checks. And we have, I think it's a total of 50 weeks or... 48 weeks or something like that to get this all done in, but there's certain big points that happen where if we haven't reached a certain level of proficiency in certain things, then it gets, you know, awfully scary. Uh, then we've got our mood meter, and this dictates what bonuses we get in our skill meter. So if you see our current mood right now is depressed, because the one that's the furthest toward any of these arrows right here is this one right here. So if I balance all of these out, any one of these that's the closest to any of these stat points is going to be the prominent or, you know, predominant mood. So then going back to the skills, you can see that because of the depressed mood, uh, Royal Demeanor gets a minus one uh, negative, Conversation gets minus two, and Athletics gets minus one. But there's also uh, a bonus of plus one given to Animal Handling for some reason. I'm not sure why depressed makes you also expressive as well. You get a plus one there. And the further I believe that you are in one of those directions... You know what, maybe that's not true, actually. I was going to say the further you are in a direction, the bigger the bonus, but I think it's more to do with other factors. Uh, so, the other thing is you also get uniforms occasionally, which will affect your bonuses. None of that stuff is particularly important right now. We'll unlock those as we get a certain point uh, in the game. So, first things first, we want to basically make a decision as to what classes we want to take, based on what character we feel like playing. Uh, also, based on what we have bonuses and what we don't have negatives in. So, uh, first thing I want to do, well, we can't do the obvious stuff. Royal demeanor and conversation are very, very important, but also history, intrigue, well, basically everything has a place in the game. And when I did this in the Let's Play, uh, I did not bother much with Lumen abilities, magic abilities, because there's actually kind of a dividing line that I chose to sort of forgo magic, because it was a bit traitorous to my father. So you have to decide, do you want to go with him, or do you want to go with the person who's trying to tempt you away from all that? And that'll happen to us as well. So, let's just pick some classes here. Let's go with uh, History and Foreign Affairs. Let's get those first off. So now we're going to go to class, week one, morning. And we've gotten increased by ten. Uh, when we reach the point of 10, you read about the history of your domain. Hundreds of years ago, Nova was the center of a great empire spanning the length of the western coast as well as a few island territories. Over time, your influence has waned. And then in the afternoon, that's our second class. That one increased by 10 as well. When we reach that point, it says you study the relationship of Nova and its nearest neighbors. The borders have been mostly peaceful in recent years, except for the problems with Ixion to the south. However, trouble, trouble may be uh, brewing in Pyreus as well. All in on magic pole arms. Alright, what's all the noise, uh, noise outside? Who's there? Oh, it's my cousins and my aunt and uncle. Lucille, Countess of Nyx. Darling, we were so terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. Thank you. You look well, niece. Hi, Lodi. Hi, Lodi. I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yup, Mummy said we'd be here all month. Plus one to cheerful. Maybe we'll have some time to talk later. Wasn't that nice. Then at the end of the day, we can make a decision about how we want to spend our weekend, and that will affect our mood. So if we wanted to, we could play with toys. That would give us plus one to yielding, plus one to lonely, and plus one to cheerful. And then you can see how those things would affect... Uh, the bottom line as getting everything back into kind of a, you know, stasis position. Uh, right now, I'm not really sure what bonuses that would really like. Probably stuff to Willful, so I get a bonus to Military, but this is just sort of something I believe you learn over time, it's sort of experiential. So, what will get me Willful right now? Uh, sneaking out will get me Willful, and it'll also get me plus one to Lonely. Lonely will pull down Pressured. Depressed is still probably going to be predominant, but I'll go sneak out. So plus one to Lonely, plus two to Willful. You sneak out of the castle to have a little fun. You enjoy your freedom, but your father won't like it if he finds out. Fair enough. So now my predominant mood, I believe, is still depressed, right? Yes, it is. Uh, but if I do the same thing again, or I can decrease depressed and pull it up towards cheerful, that should put Willful as my predominant mood. Uh, 
Alright, so... That means we've got the same negatives right now, and we still can't put anything into conversation or royal demeanor. I mean, we could, but it wouldn't be worth it, because you'd sacrifice a bunch of points that you really didn't need to sacrifice at all. Uh, other things we might want to trade in, or train in, is uh, perhaps archery would be not a bad idea. Animal handling, I didn't have much experience with that being particularly useful. Uh, but also things like economics, uh, trade, production, all of that is good as well. I uh, didn't find much use for intrigue, really. I mean, I'm sure there is, but I probably didn't see what check it was in my playthrough. So let's go to our classes, and I think we will do... Well, we'll do another in history, and we'll do one in economics. Uh, let's do one in production. Something a little different. Because occasionally, uh, people will show up at the castle and ask whether or not I wanted to fund something, and that could kind of change the trajectory uh, if I have the knowledge and skills to be able to make an informed decision about if something is useful or not. I like how the entire chat has changed to all pink now. That's pretty hilarious. <laughs> Make yourself depressed and angry. You can't really be both. It's kind of like one or the other. I think it's whichever one is the biggest away from zero takes you in that direction. All right, so week two morning, uh, we've reached level 10 in production. You learn that Sunset Bay off the coast of Duchy Mazoba, as Mazomba is a prime location for fishing. Okay, and then week two afternoon, this is Novan history, we reached uh, 21.10. Nova's history involves an endless slew of names and dates, even as small as it's become. There are 10 dukedoms, no 11 now, plus the royal line. You hope no one expects you to memorize every lineage, but, you know, the pressures of being a young princess. Uh, what's that commotion outside, Father? What's going on? I have come to pay my respects in honor of your mother. You have no respect or honor, it's because of you and your powers that my wife is dead. What? I am a Lumen, as was she, and like every Lumen, I am willing to give my life if necessary to protect our domain. Your line has been traitors for 200 years. I won't have you corrupting my daughter. That is for a crown princess to decide. Elodie, your mother trusted me, and I have much to teach you. So this is where we get to make that fateful decision. Do we want to become a Lumen ourselves? Would we like magical powers? Or would we prefer to forego magic and keep our dad's favor? It's a bit of a difficult decision, to be perfectly honest. And, uh, well, when I did it in my Let's Play, I kind of sent her away. I don't think I arrested her or anything. Uh, but I think if I let her stay, then it, like, it totally changes the dynamic I have with my dad. So it's a little bit of a tricky one. Um, I think what I'm going to do... Executors. <laughs> Not even on there. Um, I'm gonna go grab a new iced tea for just a second. I'll be back in like 30 seconds So you guys let the delay catch up and Make decisions and I will uh, I will see you in just a sec here. I'm not even gonna run an ad break or anything I'm just gonna go run and be right back Alright, I'm back. Sorry about the little break there. I just wanted to make sure I had a drink next to me because my voice is starting to get a little hoarse already. Uh, let's see what you guys have been saying. Looks like a lot of people saying to arrest her. Oh, you ran a straw poll. <laughs> Alright, it's still going. Uh, Stay seems to be in the lead right now. A 
arrest and sacrifice her to the old gods. <laughs> Alright, looks like it's really kind of... Oh, it's pretty close, actually. I was going to say Stay seems to be in the lead, but it's only barely in the lead. Execute's not even on there, so that's... Alright, it's a Stay versus Arrest, and Stay is actually winning. So I'm going to let her stay. Okay, so there we go. It's been done. You may stop voting now. <laughs> no sex dungeons, just arrest her. Alright, Elodie, I want to hear what she has to say. She stays. Plus one to Willful. That's actually what I wanted anyway, because I wanted a, bo a bonus in Willful. Brilliant. Okay, so now that we've finished studying, what do we want to do? Oh, we can actually visit... A whole bunch of people are here, actually. We could talk to our father. We could visit Juliana, the Duchess of Ursul. Or we could visit Charla, uh, Charlotte. 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 <laughs> Lady Merva. I'm going to visit her. I love this room. It's so much bigger than mine back home. You should visit more often. It's awful that the only time I get to see you is something like this. I know your brother and sister is still too young, but why haven't you come to school? My mother worries about me. She doesn't think anywhere but home is safe. I understand. I'm probably not going to be allowed to leave this castle until my birthday. But at least we can have fun together here. Minus one to lonely, plus one to cheerful. Wasn't well, that nice? Now she's got a determined face. So if we look at her moods, she is now very much willful. And we should see the bonus that that will give us is not where I expected it to be. Okay, it's on Intrigue, Lumen, and Military. Okay, that's definitely a little different. Um, what should I rank up? Can I take Lumen classes now? I, I haven't really ever messed with that. Why don't we do, like, two to sense magic, because that's a thing that seems to get checked pretty often. Or we could do military strategy or something. Let's just do, let's do Lumen skills. They never do that stuff. Um, wait, is that not on there? That's under Mystical. Yeah, I guess Faith, Divination, Lore. Yeah, there's no Lumen. Okay, so I can't do that yet. Um, okay, that makes me now wonder what else I should do, because I don't have that option. Uh, intrigue, internal affairs, foreign intelligence. Let's do two to foreign intelligence to get the bonus of one on there. Done. Week three, morning. The current Duke of Sedna is 26 years old and unmarried. He might be considered a good marriage prospect for you if you desire stronger ties with the domain of Talas. At rank 30. Oh, 20 and 30, right, we got two two levels on this one. Uh, the domain of Shangia across the sea to the west has been steadily increasing in size and now controls a wide range of coastline as well as most of the navigable rivers. At 30, the political disruption in Tambula in recent years has caused a disruption in their chocolate production, which is to the benefit of Nova, particularly the Duchy of Kigel. Good to know. He loves me, he loves me not. Lodi, do you have a boyfriend? Not really, I just like to play with the flowers. All of a sudden, the Duchess of Ursul rushes into the garden and points a sword at you. No, not at you, at your feet? Don't move. Uh, let's hold still, because she said don't move. Composure failed. You want to hold still, but you don't have the composure to hold your position without peeking. You look down where her sword is pointing. There's a snake in the grass. You can't help it. You squeak and jump back. The snake tenses and prepares to strike. No! Your cousin pushes you aside and the snake's fangs sink into her leg. Lodi. Too late. Juliana swings her sword and cuts off the snake's head. What is going on out here? Your daughter's been bitten by a milk viper. They're poisonous. Get an herbalist right away. I will treat my daughter. I certainly can't trust anyone here to keep her safe. I'm sorry. I don't feel good. You'll be returning home to Merva immediately. God damn it. <laughs> Your aunt has a point. Milk vipers are not native to this area. That snake should never have been here. 
Someone may have tried to kill you. Will Charlotte be okay? I don't know. It's a really, like, weird way to try and kill someone. Alright, well... Let's visit Juliana this time. And now the entire intensity of everything has just completely changed. <laughs> oh my god, chat, you're awful. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Uh, she's she's gonna be okay, I think. The herbalist will take care of her. What is it you wanted to teach me? First, I need to know if you have your mother's crystal. What crystal? The source of power for any lumen is a particular magical crystal. Once you've bonded with it, it becomes a part of you as long as you live. The royal crystal has been passed down from ruler to ruler for generations. It belongs to you now, except that the king may be keeping it from you. Do you have a crystal? Of course. Whoa! Look at that, it's got bump mapping and everything. It's like an entirely different game engine just for the crystal. She holds out her hands, light flickers above her bosom, and then with a shower of sparkles, something takes shape. You reach out to touch it, and it dissolves away into nothing. Oh. It belongs to me. No one can take it from me until I die. You need to find the crystal that belongs to you. Yep, now I'm pretty scared about this whole thing. <laughs> Best way to kill someone is Arastatska <laughs> Healthcare. <laughs> Lol bosom. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad I preserved that. <laughs> Alright, what's my mood right now? Very willful. Skills. Our bonuses. Um, Anything here that would be particularly useful. How about agility, reflexes, any of that stuff maybe. Faith. Meditation, divination. I'm not really sure what divination is used for in this. I'm really thinking of any instances where that's come into, you know, being a thing. Alright, I should probably swing the bonuses next time, because it's kind of a weird grouping that we're getting now. I guess I could just put, a, like, one, one in reflexes, one in flexibility, see what that does. The ability to stretch and contort without pain. I guess, uh, you know, if you get trapped in some awful position, maybe she'll be able to, like, wriggle out of a trap or something. Alright, so this is bonuses to reflex at level 10. Your teacher walks around you, prodding a finger at you slowly in order to train you, blocking those touches uh, without triggering fear or faster breathing. You learn to relax and evaluate the tension in your body, then practice the different types of motion available to each of the joints, twisting, shifting, and rotating. Sounds dangerous, like you pull a muscle or something. Uh, the castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and Zara, Zara uh, and their parents gone. Uh, certainly not empty, though. It seems like we get more servants every day. I was so worried about Charlotte after the snake bit her. Uh, poison failed, but her mother said she's okay, so I guess it turned out alright. Maybe she has a guardian angel. She got all happy at the end. <laughs> uh, what should I do? What if we go... Why don't we go attend court? We'll get plus two to yielding, uh, depressed, and pressured. And yielding it will pull down willful, so pressured will go up. Depressed will go down... Um, I'm not sure which is going to come out ahead there. Let's just do it anyway, though. Sitting in on court sessions is not fun at all, but it pleased your father, and it may be important for your future. Right, now my predominant mood is afraid. Um, okay. Well, that might be different, or useful. I'm not sure yet. Uh, bonuses are... Agility again. Okay, I guess I was this before, huh? And Faith. I don't know what I would get out of, like, I just do two to lore or something? Like, what is that going to give me? I'm just going to do this exact same thing I did last time, reflexes and flexibility. Although dance, actually, could be useful in politics, considering there are, like, there's a ball and, like, a parade and stuff, so I'm pretty sure you have to dance with dudes sometimes. Maybe I should actually set that up. 
the point is that they give you so many things to choose from that you kind of don't know what to do with any of them. Uh, and I guess that's part of the fun, right? You can't really put all your points in everything. Okay, you practice curtsying, standing, and walking across the floor in a graceful manner. Uh, we got increased by 16.65. That's quite a big bonus, actually. Uh, and then we made 20 and 30 happen all at the same time. Uh, you practice walking on the arm of your partner and following their cues to pause and turn while keeping your eyes closed. At 30, you practice different partner dance positions closely held at a distance and non-contact and the appropriate hand placement for each. Okay. One of the maids approaches for your attention. Alice says, My lady, couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna uh, for an intelligent success. Holy crap, I actually got that for once. Sedna, that's in Talas, the domain to our southeast. Uh, okay, I hope that like was relevant in some way. They have brought you a letter and a gift. Condolences on the death of deeply regret, best wishes. Oh, what a beautiful necklace. Something sparkly will make me feel better. <laughs> Court manners failed. Alright, why don't we pull... Uh, what do we want to pull up? Kind of want pressured again, but without willful. Bye! Whoever's leaving, AGP, SFP. Good night. Um, what about after? Alright, let's see. What can I do here? Any of these just get me... No. Okay, why don't I... Well, I'll talk to Juliana again and see if she has anything else. Uh, how do I find my Lumen Crystal? Your father probably knows what happened to it. What if he destroyed it? They can't be destroyed. He could throw it away, but then someone else might find it. No, he'll keep it safe. But if it's mine, it wouldn't matter if someone else found it. It's attuned to you, but you haven't bonded with it yet. Uh, if it's found a compatible host, someone who was like you in some way, it could bond to them. Alright, I guess that's fairly useful information. Uh, what's our mood now? Afraid again. Wow, I'm terrible. I guess I really should have used that to change my mood, huh? So now we're in the same position another time. Uh, the other thing you gotta be aware of, too, is if you reach 50 in something, I don't think you can pass 50 until all the other things are at 50 as well. So that kind of matters. Um, uh, such crappy bonuses. I guess I should just try putting something into, like, I don't know, meditation, divination, or lore. Something faith. Why don't we do divination and meditation? No, divination and lore. Done. Alright, week six morning. You learn that the gods cannot be forced to divulge information about the future, and that the most powerful omens are those which arrive unexpectedly. Uh, level 10 in lore. Only a lumen can channel magic, and only with the help of an attuned crystal. The ability to control a crystal seems to be inherited, so crystals can be passed from parent to child upon the lumen's death. <laughs> As you are walking, you spot a familiar figure in the palace gardens. Uh, As the Duchess of Ursul, maybe I should go and say hello. Uh, then you notice that seated beside her is a woman in the robes of a priestess. They are very close together, their hands gently touching as they speak. Looks like she's busy. You turn and walk in a different direction so as not to disturb them. At that moment, you notice something unusual. It looks like someone just left the palace grounds by going over the hedge. Was that a servant, a thief, or an assassin? Alright, what should I do? I can climb up and look over the hedge, I can call the guards, or I can run and hide. Um, I play pretty conservatively with this kind of thing. I'm kind of thinking I should call the guards, but then again, if I make a loud noise, maybe then they'll know where I am and shoot me or something, so maybe I should run and hide, but then they might find me. Mm, okay, I'm going to go call the guards. Guards! However, by the time the response is organized and directed to the area beyond the palace, there's no sign of any intruder. You wonder if you're only imagining it. Okay, well, at least it didn't kill me. Mm. So my current current mood is still afraid. Uh, I should probably pull afraid back up with like angry or something. Plus one to willful, plus one to angry. That would definitely make me willful. What about cheerful? I don't think I could pull that back out. Um, yielding, lonely and cheerful. What's lonely again? Lonely goes down. Cheerful goes up. 
That'll leave us probably with Willful. Well, let's see if I can pull it into Cheerful after a couple. Uh, Walk in the Fresh Air helps you forget your burdens on your shoulders. Alright, fair enough. Uh, mood is Afraid still. I'm never going to get out of Afraid, am I? Alright, so now I'm going to go to... Oh, nope, cancel. Sorry, wrong one. Menu. And then I'm going to use page 2 to save here. I usually save it uh, every eight weeks, but I just decided this was a good moment. Actually, I'm not that bad at remembering to save. Actually, I pretty much remembered every single time in the Let's Play, so... I got it. Right, uh, what are our classes again? What should we set up for today? Well, looks like Faith and... Looks like Agility is actually in a big bonus. So maybe we should do some more of that. Uh, I could get Dance up one more and Reflexes up one more. Done. Week 7 morning. Uh, okay, so we actually made it to 50 on that one. That's good news. You begin practicing dance steps in tune or in time to the music. Uh, quick and slow, turning and weaving at 50. You work through the standard repertoire of ballroom dancing, being sure to know the basic steps for any dance likely to be required of you in a social setting. So we're actually a bit ahead of things now. You may now attend ballroom dancing on the weekends. Your dance skill is now 50. You may not increase your skill until your other agility skills are 25 or higher. Okay, it's 25, not 50. But we can go somewhere new now, so that's good. Uh, gives us another avenue for changing our mood. Uh, you practice with a jump rope to increase the speed of your footwork. You practice solo tennis, hitting a ball against a wall repeatedly in order to train your hand and your eye to react. So now I can play sports as well, so that's two new places that I can go. I had never seen the ballroom dancing option. Uh, as you're walking up the stairs, a maid comes running down, holding a towering pile of linen. Uh, test elegance failed, reflexes success. You swiftly step aside to let her pass. Okay. Who cares? Like, nothing changed. <laughs> Attend ball is just plus one to pressure. That's so direct. Interesting. Oh, and we can talk to our father now, but I really need to change my mood, because I keep not doing that. Hmm. What will make me less afraid? I think we should do that. Uh, what's the opposite of afraid again? Angry? Okay, what makes me angry? Sports! Sports make me angry. You take to the court for a few games of tennis, feel the thrill of competition. Rawr! I'm angry. Okay, what's my new mood? Still afraid. Crap. Okay, well, I guess we'll just keep beating this dead horse. Um, let's get flexibility up to 25, and then we can take reflexes up again. I, I'm just kind of picking this one because it just keeps being convenient because I'm terrible at changing my mood. Probably shouldn't go all in to this degree, I would say. Oh, I probably should have done that in the other order, so I could have gone past 50. That was dumb of me. Anyway, I made it to 50 anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, you practice running at high speed back and forth over a small area, making quick turns and changes in direction. At 50, you practice tennis against multiple opponents, learning to judge at a glance when a ball is too far away to reach in time. Your skill and reflex and now 50 may not increase this skill until your other agility skills are 25 or higher. Okay, at week 8, you practice circling your arms, this is for flexibility, uh, and making kicking motions with your leg to stretch out your limbs. At 30, you practice bouncing motions with your arms and legs to increase the muscular effect. I don't know what the muscular effect is, but okay, you've unlocked a new outfit! I don't know what my outfit is going to be for that. Nick beats dead horses. <laughs> <laughs> the linen would have murdered you if you fail. Uh, there's a man here to see you. He wishes crown funding for a project of his. See, this is why I wanted to get the economic stuff done early, but I don't think this is going to happen still. Uh, it takes surprisingly high checks for just about everything, it seems. Remember, the treasury is not unlimited. If you choose to invest, you will have less money to work with later. Your Royal Highness, I have a plan to print books using metal letters, which I can, uh, can be moved and reuse. Is this, are we talking to Gutenberg now? Uh, I need to borrow 875 lossy to assemble the metal in a factory to mold and cast the type. With this system, we will be able to create new books in a fraction of the time it takes now and make copies to send all over the world. Well, that sounds like a wonderful thing, a big boon to literacy, and it should help the world all over, but I'm not sure I'm going to have the abilities to recognize that that's a useful thing. Crowdfunding the new Kickstarter, I know, right?
Oh, you're going to bed, Rumble Muffin. Um, I have a three-hour drive I need to make in five hours. Good luck and good night, Chad. I'm the stream running those delicious ads. Thank you, Rumble Muffin. Have a good night. I don't know much about factories or trade. Would that really be worthwhile? We are not interested. Well, that sucks. Okay, now I should actually be able to pull a mood through something. Uh, definitely isn't going to be afraid. If I just do angry, then it should end up being willful, I guess. Um, willful should be way ahead if I did that. What about cheerful? I forget what boost cheerful gives me. I need stuff to, like, speech. That's pretty important, and we haven't hardly gotten any of that yet. Uh, if I could do angry and cheerful at the same time, those kind of seem a little bit opposed, don't they? Uh, lonely... Or yielding plus cheerful? I don't think those things really go together, do they, either? Minus one to afraid. Oh, I could just do that. That would be up one, but then it would be willful again. Basically, nothing I can do can get me out of this. Speech is lonely. Is it? Okay. Um, then I should probably focus on that. Plus one yielding, plus one lonely, plus one cheerful. Yielding, lonely, cheerful. That seems like a good combination. Oh wait, but it's still gonna make me be afraid, isn't it? Ah. So frustrating. Um, I'm just gonna do angry again, because that'll get me out of... Yeah. Done. Mood is now depressed. So that'll at least let me see that again. Uh, skills. What do we have today? Expression... Animal handling. This is bots. All the things I want to do, I can't do. Instrument or voice. I mean, I could be the fanciest dancer all around the world, but I don't know what that's going to do. How about we put some points into, like, dogs and falcons or something? Expression instrument. Okay, why don't I do uh, one instrument and one falcon training, because I don't know why. Alright, week 9 morning. You visit the muse and learn about different kinds of trainable birds, their preferred nesting sites, behavior, and food. I actually got 15.68 out of that. In the afternoon, at level 10, uh, for instrument, you tap out chiming dryads at, on a glockenspiel, learning the basics of harmony and rhythm. And you want to be a, you know, a well-rounded lady, I think is a good thing. This is Banyan, Duke of Marie, Earl of Serenitatius. Okay. Serenitatius, yeah, okay, that's a weird name. Your Highness, my sympathies for your loss, even after all these years, I sometimes forget my own mother will never be coming back. Thank you. However, I must call for your aid. The Ixionite occupation of your country of Imbirium has gone on for too long. Now is the time to push back. Foreign affairs failed. I know there's been some problems with Ixion, but I don't know the details. I guess they're occupying Southern Marie. Uh, military failed. I don't know anything about the military. I don't want to fight. There must be a peaceful way to settle this. I will send for diplomats from Ixion and try to come to some arrangement. Plus one to yielding. Thank you, Your Highness. Your Highness, if I may ask, that necklace you're wearing, where did it come from? It was a gift from the Duke of Sedna. Then you have made arrangements with him? Um, what sort of arrangements? Court manners failed. Your Highness, this is a courting gift, or that is a courting gift. The man wishes to gain your hand in marriage. Oh, I didn't realize. Well, that's kind of a big mistake to make, but... I guess my own fault for not being super good at this stuff. Alright, so I want pluses to lonely now. Lonely, cheerful, and then yielding. Yes, that one. You spend the weekend hold up alone in your room with your favorite toys. It's childish, but you feel a bit better. And where will that put us? Mood is now yielding, but also lonely. I mean, it's they're both together, right? 
so now I can do stuff in Royal Demeanor, which I think is where we should be a lot of the time. I kind of want to keep it thing uh, keep things this way for a bit. Uh, all of these are important skills. Composure, Elegance, Presence, Public Speaking, Court Manners, Flattery. Public Speaking, Court Manners, both of these were big, from what I remember. And Flattery is good for, like, charismatic behaviors and trying to gain people's trust. <clears throat> hmm... Hi, Kami Rose. Thank you for coming by. I am stopping, by the way, every now and then uh, to take to take a look at the chat. So even though I've been talking pretty much nonstop, I'm you know dividing my attention. You're like 12. What guy wants to marry you? Well, she's 14, and it's more of a political arrangement. I guess that's kind of the way things were back then. Not that I really know. I'm not really an expert in you know medieval dealings or anything like that. But that's what I've heard anyway. <clears throat> okay, why don't I put one in composure, one in elegance? I want to get those bonuses since they're here. Oh, and didn't I get an outfit too? Yeah, I got the boosting agility tutu. Okay, very nice. Composure and elegance. Done. Alright, week 10, morning. You practice deep breathing exercise, learning to find and maintain a sense of inner calm. And this is Elegance. At level 10, you practice walking along a narrow rail, taking each step carefully and focusing on your balance. Jocelyn King Dewager, Dewager, Duke of Calora, says the representative from Ixion is here. Be careful, no one wants to give up their prizes, uh, give up prizes that they have won. You have the full support of my sister and myself, your highness. Hmm, let's get this over with. Novan history failed. Okay, so this is the Diplomat from Ixian. Your Royal Highness, thank you for granting me this audience. I'm sure we can come to an amicable agreement. Uh, let bygones be good bygones. No, uh, we will forget about your unprovoked attacks on us, and you will transfer the rights to this little province. <clears throat> Foreign affairs failed again. We can be good neighbors again. Because, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there, without any lives being lost. Alright, everything just failed. Mmm, okay. <laughs> You're all flipping out about the tutu because I didn't show it. Uh, there's always time for that later, but right now we have to make an important political decision, whether or not we want to surrender, offer money to Ixon if they withdraw, bluff slash intimidate, or execute. Use the NL strategy and surrender. Behead the bastard? Off with his head. Wow, you guys are very uh, solidified on your thought that that's a good idea. Didn't work out too well for him, huh? Tribute and money. Intimidate check. Off with his head. Make him wear the tutu. Execute. Red drum. Chop his head. Uh, I'm going to do Intimidate first, we'll see what happens there, and if I get another option, maybe we'll take it from there. So, uh, you are trespassing on our lands, you will withdraw your troops at once, only then will we have peace. Court manners failed. Threaten to attack is now my only option. My soldiers are poised to destroy you, withdraw now. Presence failed. Then I'm very sorry we're not able to come to an agreement. I guess now we have to fight. Well, that sucks. Um, now let's see what our mood is going to be. I think we want to keep it roughly around here, right? Uh, what's bonus to lonely, I think, is what we want. Is there one that's just straight up lonely? No. Plus one to lonely and cheerful. No, actually, that would work out. Are you happy? I don't really need the agility bonus, but I guess the other one doesn't really give me any bonus, does it? So, maybe that is the better option here. Should have killed him. Talk to Pops. Um, I guess I'm gonna save again, because I feel like I just made a bad decision.
Alright, where are my skills at now? Uh, now we can finally get some conversation in, which is what I've been hoping to do for a while. Let's do... Court manners. Let's do two court manners. That one's uh, really often used from what I remember. It sucks you have to get to a certain point in that stat tree to be able to get the thing that gives you the bonus in it. I feel like they should somehow complement each other, and then you're kind of playing like Mega Man, trying to figure out which one leads to the next one. Alright, this is week 11 morning. Uh, court manners, you review the correct greetings for guests according to your rank, or to rank, and then uh, when to extend your hand to another. All nobles expect their due honors. And then in the afternoon, we made it to 20 and 30. As the person of highest rank within the domain, no one may sit at any formal event unless you give them permission. And no one must ever turn their back on you. If they do, you are intended to recognize the insult. Uh, you study rules for formal dining, including the proper utensils for different dishes. As the queen, no one will comment, comment on your mistakes, but they will notice them. You receive a report on the outcome of the battle against the Ixionites. You succeeded in driving them out of Marie, but it cost you almost a full battalion of soldiers and a great deal of material. You lost 1,032 soldiers, plus one to angry. The Duke of Marie will be happy, but we could have done better. You also receive a letter informing you that uh, Talaris, Duke of Sedna, will be arriving for an official visit next week. Alright. I kind of want to keep things right the way they are, so let's talk... Oh, yeah, let's talk to Father. Dad, what happened to Mom's Lumen Crystal? It's in a safe place. Can I have it? No. But it's mine. Meddling with magic killed your mother. I don't want that to happen to you. Once you're crowned queen, I can't stop you from doing anything you want, but for now you're still a child. Well, that sucks, butts. I guess I can't really do much about it. I think it's in the treasury, right? And then I think I can, like, break in there somehow, but I gotta trick them or something. I don't remember how this works. Uh, mood is still lonely, so that means my skills should be bonus still on conversation, which is where I want it. So we'll do, um... Let's do one in public speaking, one in flattery. And then we'll have a nice leg up on that skill tree. <laughs> Are you using Northern Lion tactics? <laughs> I was trying to get this guy that to play this game, and he doesn't seem like he necessarily wants to, but it would be pretty hilarious. I'd actually, I'd really enjoy uh, seeing him play this and being able to play along with him or something. I could also see this being kind of hilarious for us to all play on the NLSS one day. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure Josh would be down. I just don't know if Ryan is. It seems like it's right up his alley, though. Alright, right, I was going to do public speaking and flattery. Done. Flutter will get you everywhere. In this game, it kind of is true. I like that heart, Stuart. That's nice. <laughs> I think Eno would genuinely enjoy this game. I think it's tough to get people to see past the, the anime visual novel thing about it, which is kind of what put me off at first as well. But once people get past that, I think... Because uh, I saw Phil Kohler did the same thing when he didn't uh, have much experience with this, and then he played it for a while. He's like, wow, this is actually really fun. And when he got to the end of his game... Uh, he actually just wanted to start over from scratch, and he was building, like, some kind of, like, uh, hawk-commanding, intrigue-heavy princess that was, like, trying to figure out how to decrypt everything. It was pretty silly. Josh should have you guys play this in NASCAR for the Olympic thing. <laughs> you practice tongue-twisting sequences of syllables to improve your enunciation. Well, I can do those syllables. Can you, princess? Uh, so that's increased to 16.90. Week 12 afternoon, uh, this is Flatter. You learn that it's important to make eye contact when saying nice things about someone. Interestingly enough, I feel like there was actually some fairly decent advice in this game, too, which is kind of funny. Uh, Tyler's Duke of Sedna says, Ah, your highness, what a pleasure it is to meet you in person at last. Your description did not do you justice. Giggle! Flattery failed. I don't know how to deal with uh, handsome older men paying me compliments. Uh, I was so pleased to hear that you accepted my humble offering, a jewel for a jewel, but you are the most, or you are more precious. I hope that is the, only the beginning of a mutually beneficial relationship, a union between us would bring stability to both our peoples. He really does want to marry me. Yeah, I mean, every time that I've gotten to this point or seen anyone get to this point, they all politely decline and then fail the politeness check. <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's always really awkward, but it's like making a commitment at this level of the game, and this is only, what was it, week 12, uh, it's kind of early on to be doing something like that. So, I don't know what to say here. You guys can decide for me. Do what you're going to do, and I'll, I'll abide by whichever one you choose. But know that if you do, uh, politely decline, you'll probably also mess, mess up the check afterward. And don't think that accepting his offer will lead to something to do with actually seeing anything explicit. There isn't that kind of stuff in this game, so... Uh, Alright, maybe I shouldn't have asked you guys. It seems like you're all giving me exactly what I should have expected. Straw poll is already up. Alright, I'm trusting you guys. What are you gonna pick? Surprisingly close. Friends own the man. Make him eat snakes. Is that a euphemism? Close, close vote. I love how quickly you guys will generate these straw balls. It took like three seconds. Off with his head, that's not even an option. He didn't do anything. <laughs> ah, actually, no pulled ahead, surprisingly enough, so I guess we're gonna do that. Alright, politely decline. I need to let him down gently. Te court manners failed. I'm not marrying you, I'm only 14. That may have not been gentle. I see. I regret the misunderstanding. Alright, now that you've finished studying, what do you want to do for the weekend? Uh, I kind of still want to hang out in the same skill tree area, so... I don't know what else there is to do. Let's visit Juliana again. My father says I can't have the crystal until I'm queen, so we'll have to wait. Uh, there may not be time to wait. This world is filled with dangers, and you will need the powers of a lumen to fight them. You can't begin training until you've bonded with your crystal. Well, what else am I supposed to do about it? The crystal is probably held under guard in the royal treasury. You are the princess. You should be able to find a way inside. Otherwise, you might have to take drastic action. Um... I'll try to find a way. Plus one to Willful. I don't necessarily want to get plus one to Willful, but okay. Alright, I'll try to get into the treasury. I don't think it changed my mood, though, so... Yeah, we're still good. It's close, though. If I get one more to Willful, I think it'll shift. Uh, so that means we can do another... Uh, court manners and public speaking, or... I don't know. Any of the court manners and flattery. Because this is the bonus is great right now. I don't really want to squander that. Court manners and flattery. Let's try that out. Week 13, uh, level 40, and I guess I'm... Oh, freaking! Look how close I got. 49.21. If I would have just made it to 50, well, it would have been nice. You study the traditions of ballroom etiquette, how to politely accept or defer an offer, and how to avoid the impression of attachment to an individual. And in the afternoon, we get to 20 and 30. Learn that flattering compliments or comments have the best impact when kept short. Gushing makes people feel awkward. At 30, you learn it's always better to compliment people for their personality and their choices than physical attributes. You're requested to stand in judgment. A woman has been convicted of attempted murder and requests the mercy of the crown. This is Kivan, Earl of Lowe? Your Highness, this slattern dares to beg pardon when she admits that she tried to poison my sister under her own roof. Which sister? Corisande, the Duchess of Mead. Is she alright? History failed. She is unharmed. We caught the culprit in the kitchens before anyone could eat her foul spew. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? It's justice it is. Them devils killed me brother and broke me ma'am's heart. I guess we're Irish now. <laughs> Lied to her they did. <laughs> When she went to see why he'd not come back, she said, I uh, said he'd gone for a soldier when he never would. He weren't the only one, neither. I waited ten years for my chance to get my own back. That's justice. You see, she's completely unrepentant. Hang her and be done with it. Internal affairs failed. I don't know what this is all about. Either way, murder is a serious crime, but... Well, <laughs> rev up the next straw poll. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Irish Nick. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. It just sort of worked out or something.
How do Nick do it, Batman? <laughs> Alright, you know it's not actually a sex dungeon, right? There's not actually a, a dungeon of sex. Uh, you mean pri in prison, or... Now, this is interesting, it's surprisingly close again. One thing that you should know is that there's a chance that if we put her in prison, we might be able to recruit her as a soldier later, or she might escape from prison. So I'm actually kind of leaning toward execution for once, which is not really death by watching the human centipede. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of leaning a little bit more towards execution, but it is still up to you guys, I suppose. Oh, it looks like the dungeon is ahead. Alright, seems like it's not changing anymore, so... Imprison her. You tried to murder a noble of my domain, and I have no reason to believe you wouldn't do it again. You will be imprisoned for the rest of your life. You'll not have me! All of a sudden, she breaks loose from her guards and rushes at you. In your court dress, you are unarmed, you grope for a weapon, and find only a heaven heavy golden ornament which you hurl in her direction. Your missile fires wide of its mark. Before you have a chance to do anything else, your personal guards step into action, cutting the woman down before she can endanger you. Her lifeless body lies bleeding on your carpet. Alright, so, uh... There you go. Clean that up. Ooh, badass line there at the end. I love the musical accompaniment, too. So nice. Um, I guess I'll talk to my father again, right? Oh, I could visit the treasury and have them not let me in. Plus angry, plus willful. Okay, you try to uh, talk your way past the treasury guards, but despite eyelash fluttering, foot stomping, and outright threats, they won't budge. Humph. And now I've changed my mood, it looks like. Now I'm angry. Now you guys have made me angry. Alright, but that's okay, because public speaking and stuff are still accessible uh, with this bonus. And I can actually get to military as well, which is not bad. And weapons. Oh, I don't have any training in weapons at all. Okay, I'm going to do one more in flattery and one more in public speaking. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, public speaking first, of course. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I was just double-checking. We're good. Alright, week 14 morning, you take deep breaths and practice speaking loudly and clearly projecting your voice into every corner of a room. At 30, you memorize lists and sonnets, then recite them for your teacher and any castle staff you can round up to serve as an audience. Okay, very nice. So we've made it to 32.72. You've unlocked a new outfit, because all of them, I believe, are now past 25. And we passed... 50 on flattery. So at 40, visual elements are best to flatter on first meeting. They are expected to be noticed right away. If you spent more time with someone suddenly complimenting their attire will ring false. At 50, small personal details help make the recipient of your flattery feel that you've uh, truly noticed them, which is always better than a simple how nice you look. As you're walking one day in the garden, you hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying overhead. A single dry leaf flutters in its talons. Divination failed. Falcon success. An owl flying in the open uh, in broad daylight. That's unusual. I wonder if something attacked it. Uh, when you return to the castle, your father's waiting for you. There are reports that a key thong has been sighted leaving the old forest. What's a key thong? Lore failed. Novan history failed. A uh, beast with the body of an enormous golden cat. A sharp beak and spikes on its back. That sounds pretty horrifying. Eek. Several disappearances in Southern Caloris are already thought to be the work of this creature. What do we do? Should we send hunters? The traditional policy on stray beasts is to hope that they return to the forest and stay there. Hunters are no match for such creatures. I mean, it's a giant golden cat with spikes on its back. Of course, they're not going to do anything with that. 
I knew when I said Keithong, everyone in chat was gonna say it. Uh, you would only make it angry and waste more lives. So we just let it eat people? Everyone dies in the end. Wow, that's a weird thing to say. Depressed. <laughs> Jeez. That's pretty rough. Keithong equals chastity belt. <laughs> You're very sexually charged beings out there, I have to say. Um, we're angry now. I think that's still okay, though. What else can we do? Talk to your father again. What will that do for us? Dad, if this trouble with Ixian started years ago, why didn't Mom fix it? Your mother told the Duke of Marie and the Duchess of Halas that it was their problem and they should sort it out themselves. Oh. Should I have done that? Situation is different now. Everyone on all sides wishes what sort of queen is coming, wishes to see what sort of queen is coming to the throne. Yielding, pressured, everyone is judging me. So it just keeps giving me like random attributes and screwing with my plan here. Uh, my bonus is actually still where I kind of wanted it to be, though. Amazingly enough, now I can do some military strategy. Or no, I was gonna do weapons training, right? Uh, let's do let's do two to like archery. There's actually an archery contest at some point. Oh, you know what? It's week 15 right now, and I haven't saved in a while, and I'm starting to think, actually... Uh, so the way that the game breaks down is, like... I think it's, like, 50 total weeks, right? So it would be a nice break to do, uh, like, three sections of 15 weeks at a time, and that's presuming that I actually get that far, which I'm not necessarily sure that I will. Uh, but we have made it just over an hour... So this is kind of a good point for me to bring this uh, section to a close. I'm thinking that we could come back and do this again in a couple days and continue on the adventure a little bit down the line and see if we could keep things going and do another chunk of 15 or so weeks and then on the last one we'll just finish it out if we do. So uh, hopefully that sounds good to you guys. Because also it's 2.30 and I have to get to uploading and I still have another video to render. So, you know, I think that this is a reasonable point to, you know, bring things to a natural closing. I'm sorry, Magresta. I don't want to make you guys sad. Outfit first. Okay, you can see the outfit. I got a tea dress. What a charming dress. She looks like young, elderly Emma Watson or something. She's like matronly and young at the same time. I don't understand how that works. And the boarding school outfit, of course, which, you know, I've seen that already. Uh, so yeah, it's really just that one. Do one week per week. Oh, that would take an awful long time. EST best time zone. <laughs> what are we doing now? I think we're actually going to wrap up the stream for the moment, so hopefully everybody's cool with that. But thank you everybody for hanging out. I think we had a pretty good time. I had a fun time anyway. And we got to try some strange and different games. I think uh, it's always good fun to try things that are a little bit off the beaten path. And Bokita and Yume Nikki definitely pretty far off the beaten path. Long live the queen also. Maybe a little bit less so, though. And what is this straw pole now? Be the light to guide Nick to the victory is not really. Choices are Keithong, 420 Docket, Northern Dongers, fly away to the sex dungeon. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put Northern Dongers. Let's see what... what's gonna... Oh, Keithong is way ahead. Of course it is! So, as Magresta said... If you did enjoy the stream, consider pressing follow on my channel if you haven't already. And of course, you're welcome to check me out over on YouTube, which is my main venue of choice if uh, any of you are not particularly familiar with me. I don't know how many of you might have come in through the, the random Twitch world. Uh, but feel free to check me out. There's all my links and everything in the chat. And thank you very much to the mods for helping me out, and thank you everybody for uh, continuing the chat for all this time and having a good time with me. And I think, let's see, what day is today? It's going to be Saturday. I got to talk to BizSnap, because I want to do another uh, Terraria stream with him pretty soon. But depending on what his schedule is like, there's a good chance that we'll pick up and do some more of this uh, probably in the next day or two. I could see, you know, potentially as long as I get my recording done and nothing gets in the way, I don't really have a problem continuing on with this. So thank you, everybody, for being here. I'm going to take off. Hope you guys have a lovely night, and thank you very much for hanging out. Talk to you all later.